Now, in confidence interval, in estimating the population parameter, we learned how to use the Z distribution and the T distribution. Now, in our confidence interval for population mean, we're going to use the paired T design. Now, we're still going to use the T distribution, but this time, we're going to be presented with two samples, and we need to find or we need to concentrate on the mean difference of both samples. Now, paired T distribution or paired T design, also known as the matched paired design or before and after measurement for T procedure, is basically seeing two samples and you are focused on the mean difference of sample one and sample two. So most problems involving confidence interval or hypothesis testing in paired T design work on or concentrate on the differences of sample one and sample two. Now, since this is still a t-distribution, we're going to use the same formula, but this time we're going to change its variable into mean difference plus or minus t star times the standard deviation difference all over the square root of n, wherein the mean difference is the mean difference of sample 1 and sample 2, and the s difference is the standard deviation difference of sample 1 and sample 2. Now, this might be a little abstract for you right now, but as soon as you get the example, you will see the idea or the reasoning behind this formula or the paired T distribution. Now, in this word problem, Ryan included the data for two different types of corn seed from a normally distributed population. Now, the simple random sample of head corn in pounds per acre are recorded as follows. So we have the regular corn and we have the kiln dried corn for our data set. Now this is a matched pair design because this is your um, this 1903 head corn per pound per acre is matched to the kiln dried corn for 2000, 2009. So this two sets of values right here are our two samples and we're going to find its mean difference later on. So at 95% confidence level, we need to construct the estimated population mean difference of the regular and kiln dried corn for this particular data set. Now since regular and, regular and kiln dried data set are matched pair design, we need to make sure that they are matched when we are working with them. That's why if there's 11 samples here, there should be an 11 sample in your other data set. Now for your first step, we need to find the difference of sample 1 and sample 2. So to do that, pair or the first pair will be 1903 minus 2009 and it will give you a difference of negative 106. So this will be your first data set for your pair T distribution. And for your second set, it will be 1,935 mi minus 1,915, which gives you 20. And then you do it up until the last pair, which is 1,511 minus 1,535, which gives you a difference of negative 24. Now you'll have a third sample in your distribution and you're going to be concentrating on computing for the third sample which is the mean and the standard deviation of sample A or the differences of sample 1 and sample 2. That's why on our variable here we have the mean difference of negative 33.727 which we found by listing all the differences of sample 1 and sample 2. And for the standard deviation differences, we have 66.171 with a sample size of 11 and degrees of freedom of 10. We're going to use our critical value from 95% confidence level because it's also given in the problem. So this is our first step in establishing our paired T design finding the differences of sample 1 and sample 2, and finding its mean and standard deviation and all the other variables that we need in our formula. Now for step number two, we need to verify our conditions. And for T distribution, we need to make sure that the sample came from a normally distributed population. And that one is satisfied from the given problem. And also the sample was randomly selected 
from an SRS, so that means it's also satisfied. And for the third condition, the normal probability plot of both sample is approximately normal. So for sample A and sample B, if you use your normal probability plot in your calcula calculator, you will see that it gives you a normal approximation. So therefore, our conditions are satisfied, so we can work with our confidence interval without any precaution. So for the third step, we need to find the critical value for our t distribution. So just like what we did before, it's still 1 minus c all over 2, which is 1 minus 0.95, that will give us 0 0.025. And using your inverse t in your calculator, or using your table of values in your uh, um, t table at the back of your book, you'll have 0 0.025 with a degrees of freedom of 10, and it will give you a critical value of 2.28. And this is what we will need in our step number four in using our formula for finding the interval for estimating the mean difference or population mean difference of our distribution. So we have negative 33.72 plus or minus 2.28 times 66.171 all over the square root of 11. That will give you your standard error, multiplied it with 2.28, which gives you your margin of error. Now, if you take 44.45, add it and subtract it to negative 33.72, and you will get your confidence interval, which is negative 78.18 and 10.73. So therefore, for step number five, since all the conditions were satisfied and we did all our computation right here, we are 95% confident that the true mean difference of regular and kiln-dried corns lies between negative 78.18 and 10.73 pounds per acre.